to go now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. Sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. In the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until he found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Mickey. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of your might. That's a lot of might. <gasps> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentus. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy.
Okay, let's make some flark and cool stuff. Got you covered. I've made it foolproof, just for you. Didn't light it. Peter Quill, I did not expect to find you in here. Hey, sorry. I didn't mean to. It is fine. Your company is always welcome. And thank you for the gift. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Figured you might want to light it from time to time in memory of your family. Why would a lit candle remind me of my family? Every memory I have of them has been carved into my flesh. You... What? The red scars that I bear. They are a record of every great deed, an important milestone in my life. Oh. Well, I just thought it was because they look cool. No, Peter Quill. On Katath, we practice scarification, so that there is a record, proof, that one is worthy to enter Ultath. Such a record is required for judgment in the afterlife. So, your tattoos are actually a record of your life that's been carved into your skin? Yes. The process is known as the Jil Tara, and is extremely painful. It requires focus and self-control, and occurs many times in a Katathian's life. No offense, Drax, but they just look like a bunch of swirly lines. Perhaps to you. To me, they are the most important moments of my life. Each line is composed of a thousand scars, each engraved with the tooth of a walnut creature. What kind of moments get recorded? Kill counts? <laughs> Stuff like that? No, Peter Quill. A Katathian life record is a record of just that. Major milestones and important events. Like the day I became a man. Gross. And the day that Hovat accepted my proposal of marriage. And later, the marriage ceremony itself. And the day that Hovat gave birth to my daughter, Camaria. And the day that I lost them both. Now I see why they're scars. Yes. Once I believed my failure to avenge their deaths had banished us all to Sarduth. But now, thanks to you and the others, I see a deeper truth. Life does not have meaning without suffering as well. So, hypothetically speaking, if you died tomorrow, what would happen? My Cho Ta, <clears throat> my life essence, would travel to the gates of Ultath. There I will be judged by the great kings and queens of ages past. And if deemed worthy, the gates will open. And if you're not, you know, worthy? The gates do not open. And... I am cast into Sarduth, where I will cease to exist. Yeah. I guess that's bad. So, like, how do these kings and queens know if you're worthy? By reading the scars that make up my life record. From that, they will judge whether I'm worthy. For some, a life of meaning comes from their trade. For others, their family. And others yet, from following the warrior's path. Each is a valid entry into the gates of Ultath. Hence the record. What happens if you don't have a record? Ah. Like yourself. Uh, sure. Like me. What happens to someone like me? Do I just immediately get thrown into Sarduf? No, Peter Quill. Your record is instead given by those who knew you in life. Ooh, yeah. I might have some problems. Doubtful. I've seen your dedication to the Kree child and woman. And to this crew. And what you did for me. 
It is a testament to your worthiness. Oh, uh... <laughs> Thanks. If anyone deserves a happy afterlife, Drax, it's you. Think you'll be adding any more to your tattoos? Yes. Like maybe a Guardians of the Galaxy logo? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Good enough for me. <sighs> My shoulders are sore. Yeah, Mantis is heavier than she looks. How is she connected with my soreness? <laughs> she rode your back all the way down the caves to Goldie's place. Really? All right. Let the waves of calm wash over me. And go. That's not how that works. Oh, Gamora! Since when do you meditate? I... don't, but... Desperate times and all. Stuff's been... a lot lately. I get it. Hala, help me, do I get it? Uh, so... How do you use this, then? In, in case, you know, Rocket asks. Well, for one, it isn't about just holding it. You also need a comfortable place to sit, where you can be relaxed but alert, and... Focus on your breathing. Then you practice. A lot. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a lot more work than I was hoping for. Anything worth doing tends to be. So how do you do it? Focus was something Thanos beat into us early on. But it wasn't until I lived with the priests of Palma that I realized how... limited his version of meditation really was. How did you end up living with the priests of Palma? They're not exactly your kind of crowd with the whole pacifism thing. Mantis introduced me to them last year, when I needed to... heal. They helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Helped? How? I guess you could say I was broken. Thanos, the war, working as an assassin... they take a toll on you. By the time Mantis brought me there, I was ready to give up. I mean, I was miserable. Convinced I was beyond redemption or worth, I truly believed I deserved to die. But you didn't... die. No. There was this... boy there. A con. The one you hugged in the village. A con was like me. Lost. His parents had died in an accident. He was combative, rebellious, the opposite of a pacifist. <laughs> the priest thought it would be a good idea for both of us to work through our scut together. <laughs> and was it? <laughs> At first, not really. He was a pain in the butt. But over time, we came to rely on each other. Thanos had taught me how to meditate in the functional sense, but not in the spiritual sense, like how to work through my trauma, caring for a con. It, he forced me to reflect and process, and together through mutual support, a con and I were able to overcome our demons. I can't picture Thanos meditating. I kind of always figured he was this egotistical tyrant. No, oh, he totally was. But Thanos also understood that aspects of meditation could be useful to his cause. Like, focus? Focus, increasing overall awareness, pain tolerance. He came up with a series of exercises, fun little games for me and Nebula to compete in as part of our training. The worst part was, we didn't even know what he was doing until it was too late. What do you mean? Thanos' brand of meditation warped us, turned us into hyper-focused weapons. That way we were numb to the horrors of his agenda. Killing people. Assassination is just a different name for murder. So how did you cope? We made puns. Bad, stupid jokes to shout as we were. Killing people. The more terrible, the better. Here, I thought you just had a really lame sense of humor. Oh, I do. But it was the only way to survive. 
And it was something we did together, a new kind of competition, just between me and Nebula, to see who can make the other laugh. That's really messed up, and yet oddly endearing. Yeah, well, even bad puns can only get you so far before your conscience catches up with you. Wow. I had no idea meditation could be so intense. Or beneficial? Well, yeah, that too. I guess I should give it a go sometime. Although I'm kind of scared of what I'll find. Who knows? You might surprise yourself. I know I did. Yeah, maybe. I am optimistic about Peter Quill convincing our guest to fight alongside us. Of course you'd be optimistic. You're always optimistic. Optimism or not, we need to work with him. We need someone strong enough to keep Raker in check if we want any chance to get to Nikki. Did you reach Cosmo? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him. Hey, Warlock, open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? No! No? I don't know what you want from me, man, but I'm not about to bend over because you threw up the entire extended thesaurus. I see. An antagonistic but appreciable argument. Seems you possess a spine after all. Your will may make up for your infantile frame of thought. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't- No. Cannot. So, we can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo?
So, Warlock, he's something. Eh, not sure we can trust the guy who looked at the Grand Unicorn himself and thought, the lad looks like a reliable rascal. He simply knows that the true evil is Magus. Riker is but an impressionable fanatic. A fanatic with a lot of firepower. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Rally's regiments while we wait whistling in the wings landing as fast as I can go what the flark Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now He is a man of action Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. So, what happens if we find Goldie, but he's all beat up? Then we place him in a safe location until we can tend to his wounds. I think he means what if he's dead. Yeah, that. 
Then we place him in a safe location until we can give him a proper burial. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki. Peter? Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Seem tense. Drax, little help? I will comply. <laughs> the pro 
promise is to be realized here. The verdict will be flocking in to witness it. Are we the only new arrivals? We must be late. Assuming we find the girl, how do we sever her connection with Magus? We don't. If Cocoon Boy ain't around to suck it up afterward, we'll just have to reason with her. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. Are you good? That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. If Cosmo is on their side, getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. The Church believes they have already won. We must use that to our advantage. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. What kind of promise could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. Exactly. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. <laughs> Kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Where really stunk sometimes, but. Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it.
don't suppose we could try tricking them again? Make them believe we're all promised up? Not unless you can fake that purple glow they all seem to have. the fanatics. I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there... You think you can anchor to this, Gamora? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos! Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Peter, let's go! I had a contact here. You did? Was it Blurf? No, no, no. Shut up and... What? Maybe? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. He might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The warlock carries an old grudge. He'll not align himself with the Grand Unifier. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodist about these adventures. A what? Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. I know how much you love this dive. 
It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. Pretty useful people to know. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! Mantis brought us to Warlock for a reason. You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus's space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Man, I'm not so sure anymore, not after Lamentis. None of this makes any sense, but Mantis gave us somebody who can fight it. Somebody who also makes little sense. Exactly! Sweet, nearly I complete. think. He can deal with his evil twin. Looks like the church is trying to keep... I smell it. Those are theirs. More certainties dropping in! They'll be dropping like flies soon enough! <laughs> This looks like a dead end. For some more than others. What must it feel like to have one's soul torn in two? If Magus was half my soul, I'd be happy to get rid of it. I'd want to get rid of the Warlock part too. Hear something? Like chanting. No. I could have swore. <laughs> Wonder if Cosmo's gonna keep control of the station once this mess is sorted. You fear he will lose his command. He wouldn't have many defenses left to push back a second invasion. I ain't never been on the dog's good side, but the thought of new management? Eh, don't sit right. used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Wait, how did he move the whole Emporium? It was a ship. Huh. Never would have guessed it from the inside. Eh, maybe it's more of a shuttle. I am Groot. Ah, Groot's right. We're getting distracted. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentis. Nah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. 
It ain't coming back, and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. They say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic. I've seen nowhere this desolated before. No way! When? If you wander about early enough in the morning, it is this empty. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage.
You good? Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his Kratakin hand. By me. your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes. Many goons. With that 
access to the Cortex? Who knows how many reserve forces they can bring in here? We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Peter Quill, I wish to apologize for what I said when last we were here. Your mother was not cast out into nothing. As long as we remember them, those we cherish are not truly gone. Right. We keep our dead in our hearts. That cannot be healthy. The remains should be properly buried. Gamora. How am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? We should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. Almost drowning changes a guy. Really? A fake force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. That's it, Peter! Let's go! We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. Get ahead! Let's book it! Now is not the time for literature! But this would make a great story! If we're alive- <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. Then you shall not stop. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops.
Now's your chance, Gamora! So many lousy angles to cover! Keep shooting! I'll get closer! On the left! Fucking snipers! Fast cowards! We need to close this distance! his face. It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Survive that jump! 
A warlock is more value than I believe. How many are there? It's oh. like old nowhere, Shota. Oh. As long as they're here, they can't go through with them. Whatever they called it. That was not the name. I like it better. <laughs> We approach the dog's tower! We still have to fight our way through! Do your thing, Drax! Make sure you don't fall off! I got jet boots, remember? Of course it was easier to get to before! Finally! I think they're giving up! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Warlock better not kill Raker before I get to him. I am eager to pull that sorcerer's insides to the outside. We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? Perhaps we should summon the ship to deliver us to our destination. Ain't no way they'd let us land anywhere near the big party. That's one way down. The best way. <clears throat> Look! They're still at it! At least our guys <laughs> Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. Assuming they don't blame us for the Grand Unicorn. And the brainwashing cult. Anyone see a way across? Yeah, we can't do nothing with that sign in the way, well. ba 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 boom baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Kallax cream. That'll must have been tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep, that's part of nowhere's charm. Oh, you gotta be farkin' kidding me. You gonna make us a bridge or what? <coughs> Who cares if he didn't ask? This ain't no time to be polite, you big stump. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that was a You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. No, more likely Magus will use the ritual's power to drain the life energies of all in attendance. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. You will regret it. Dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage. Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being a 
exposed to the promise. No! Take these off, people! Get away <laughs> from my dog! has abandoned us, Peter Quill. I doubt we shall win this battle. He may be right. Our strikes, our timing, something's off. I know we should be better than this, but maybe we're not. Okay, stop. Stop doubting yourselves. You're talking like you've lost your mojo. But I know you. You're champions. Every time. Who's with me? Wu-Tox Fields yeah! must wait. One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh. <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, Flark, and just shoot the mutt. No. Bad dog. Damn it, Cosmo. Who called Cosmo? Joseph. That's us, Dog Breath, Guardian of Galaxies. Strange. Cosmo smell old friend. But real Gilder Quill would never bark at Cosmo. You didn't leave me much of a choice. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. 
He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden, just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katathia, not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead heads, mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. If by met you mean I saved your park, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet, you had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. Raised since he was mere pup. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young or... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Peter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fit your lies. That's it, buddy. You tell him! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect at all cost. Sick him, boy! <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Attacking Scratch Snatchers, gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust. So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlo's before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. The flark was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. The way the church spreads their faith tech everywhere, it's like some weird disease. Groot says if it's a disease, it's a pretty one. He likes the colors. 
I've seen enough gold to last a lifetime. The ritual must be starting soon. Are you Good question, bud. How do we know we could even stop something this powerful? <gasps> eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. She knows what she's doing, or... Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. But that means Magus chose it. Probably because of the Cortex and how it can provide instant access to all believers everywhere. So we're gonna shut the door in its ugly face, ruin its big day, and kick it when it's down! Yuck. I am so done with brains in the Universal Church of Crap. Breaking your hands, smashing through everything. Guardian of Galaxy, Cosmo is owing more short fit. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church goods between us and the Cortex. Coming? Yes. Cosmo is retaking the power of the church, where his parts are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. But still. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. got brain security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Lungs are already gray. And you know that... I have seen them many times. <clears throat> I did not eat on the ship. There's plenty of brain tissue to go around. Quill, for somebody who wants out of here, you're sure doing a lot of hanging around. I can't get back up to the catwalks. Drax, a little help, Peepo. Readily. Set her down, bud. What are you doing? That's the way we came. I'll be quick. I'm surprised Thanos never tried to take Noah's resources during the war. Don't ever underestimate the Collector's political power. He's got something to bribe everyone. The Church accepts no bribes. We seek only submission. Yeah. Need some help moving, Drax. To where shall I move it? 
Rax, over here! Hurry! I move as swiftly as is necessary. Quill, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as Grey Lung. <sighs> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Grey Lung. Did you guys know? Oh, yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh, Quill. I've been thinking. Yeah, the, the nobodies look out for themselves, but... Whoa. Careful, this place is practically falling apart. It'll be all of nowhere looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. Giant head does not have feet. It used to. I don't know what's more dizzying in this place. Looking up or looking down? Do neither. Look your enemies in their eyes. What if I could? Staring down somebody's crotch ain't as effective. Let's see what we can make with the parts you've got. It's all yours. So, about my raise. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the Cortex? By up and left, you mean that mutt went barking mad and booted everyone out? Then, yup. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. You don't have to. Hey, Groot. Think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems in perfect past. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping. Scoping. This place smells weird. It brains go sour if it sits too long. It smells like metal and I don't know something else. Creo. What's that? It's the waste product of a large Catathian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking of. It is unmistakable. See all my investments go up in smoke. What investments? A couple seed fundings into illegal weapons research. Funneled some units into goon training. A couple of vets. You had units this whole time? No, they were invested. Whoa! Tremors have intensified. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. Oh, what have they done to you? Huh? Why do the mightiest powers of the universe not intervene against the church? Galactus, a stranger. My baby. You, uh, okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. I am good. Yeah, the Milano's great, but a ship ain't the same. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Perhaps there is a way to steer nowhere directly into the rift. Can't risk it if Nikki's here. You want to erase the best place in the galaxy? No way! Minor hiccup we need to consider. 
How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex, one of the most powerful artifacts in the known universe. Maybe even before it. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. How do you know there is a wheel? I, I saw no wheel. Yeah, there ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with church scut. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. that gap first. Just so you know, I'm reserving the shower indefinitely after this. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Ugh, I have brain chunks stuck between the ridges of my boots. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. I am Groot. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. More importantly, we know what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? I do not recall anyone making that claim. Let's just take it one thing at a time. Get Nikki and stop this fulfillment thing. How pragmatic of you. Try not to count my chickens before they hatch. That would be counting eggs. Careful. It gets a little... Whoa, 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 whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, oh, Scott Fuckers! <laughs> Down if she's in there. <clears throat> 
Arch Wizard! <laughs> that was awesome! Me and Groot, we win this in our sleep. Thanos sees a time in fights like this just to make it interesting. They are no match for these blades, Peter Quill. All right, all right, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play it cocky, one little mistake is gonna bring us down. So let's get back out there, give this fight complete dedication, and make them scream! Who's with me? Today, I nice am the one, destroyer! Peter. Let me in! What's next, Peter? Take heed! This is bringing back poor memories! We will give them a battle to rival the Galactic War! Broke another cultist! Don't that weirdos deserve it! Groot! Contact creeps are coming from everywhere! I wasn't expecting so many of them! Another shark dog Nova Crystal are dealt with! True battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. Well, put it in mean mode. Ha! <laughs> Done! What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Engraving an explosive is imprudent. If Raker is still alive. Keep an eye out for Nikki. We get her away from these wackos, then worry about finding Warlock, Mantis, and whoever else. I have faith your spawn will be saved, Peter. Let's not use the F word. We're not gonna lose her again. Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. Anyone see Raker? No, nope, no sign of him. Stay off the 
boosted ones, or they'll return shots! The sorcerer fills them with faith energy! Hit on a swivel! Um, how many times have I saved your butt now? I thought I was a gunner, man! I was just trying to wake him up! Stop that weirdo's deserving! What the? Coach is choosing his team members! Like and a hot in a knife! Body bag. Problem? Solution!
Mickey! It's okay, I got you. Get your hands off me! Why do you insist on ruining everything? If you won't join me, then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? The Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. They ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dast and Sacro Scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Herculis system inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. We're not getting away this time. down. Hell yeah! Nova Core! The world mine must have... Say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's got to be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. But regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's got to have something. Demora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us. Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front.
Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for temporary troops. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. You could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I am so would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, what's a pirate without a ship? Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. Spartoi technology is well beyond... Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? This beast cannot operate a ship. That's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the problems, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? Guardians of the gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, we'll, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. I ain't going back in a cage. No, no, but think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that you'd want more than any other. Jax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Mach Luthor! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom!